Hi everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Not much here to detail or to show, but uh, I'm off of the Mac for now uh, on a Windows system with higher memory. Um, not a big fan of Windows, as you know. Uh, lots of updates can uh, mess you up. On top of that, the other problem is uh, security, lack of. I'm paranoid about security. And um, I put a a message on my Facebook to see what distro Linux distribution I should go on since MotorWave supports it. Um, most people said Ubuntu, Ubuntu 20, I guess 2020 uh, is a good version. I haven't played with it yet, but um, I know this Windows subsystem for Linux should be okay to support it. So for now, I just want to leave it as it is. Um, but I just wanted to show you a uh, demo here. We have Binance. Uh, the connection, and uh, here we have Coin Compare. Uh, as well. I could have as many as I want, as long as my computer hardware can handle it, uh, namely memory. Um, and you have a pretty good processor. So if you've seen my webinars uh, with uh, MotorWave chugging along, not really refreshing the chart fast enough, well, I'm hopefully fixing a problem with this new set up on an old, older set, uh, system. I put out a video on uh, some of the tools for Windows that makes it hard for me to want to switch over. But as it stands right now, um, this is where I'm at and uh, I'll keep it like this. One other thing I want to mention is if you've not seen my webinar from last Monday, um, one of the lessons to be learned there is uh, a person demonstrated their setup, their research, and that was pretty um, inspiring for me to switch over to something like this instead of using a uh, older Mac and very constrained memory wise so I thought I would uh, move it to this I've also put up another video about the bot in Python that can run but you get an instance of have a 1% day trading uh, day, daily target which it achieved but I could still trade let's say theta at the time and run up profit even more beyond that using motive waves so that's part of the plan to use MotiveWave more, um, I do have supposedly a Kraken account, uh, which this version will support. Uh, six point, uh, it's not, I can't remember the version it is, but it's six point something four, six four maybe, or something like that. And um, that's that, and uh, you will, can also support Kraken and Coinbase now, as well, in, in the Two releases ago so that's a big deal and again you can also run MotorWave again on Linux as well so that's something I'm willing to try but then I lose my IQ feed connection because I can't <coughs> sorry I can't find a uh, an alternative for IQ feed to run on Linux I don't want to use a, a wine uh, that project I think that project's kind of hokey and uh, I'd like to get a data provider that's as good as uh, IQ feed uh, that has Linux support as well, native Linux support, not Windows through a Wine project. But anyways, if you know about that, let me know uh, by commenting. And I uh, just want to show you that it's all ready to go. The audio, uh, as you can tell, is not as good as um, on my Mac. It's Windows, I guess, maybe the system, I don't know, but you can still hear me okay. So we'll leave it at that. Just want to let you know and show you this. Uh, set up. Uh, I'll be doing more of uh, focus on MotorWave and uh, obviously more on strategy development as well on MotorWave in Windows. Nothing wrong with um, Python, but if you've seen my bot performance this week, uh, I think it's going to be my, well, I can't say if it's going to be a money loser this week, but with crypto not as strong as it was, let's say three weeks ago. Um, I'm going to be using MotorWave to diversify into Real McCoy futures um, through, I don't know which broker yet, but um, MotorWave supports all the major ones as well. So that's the other reason why I'm jumping over. But I just thought I'd let you know, keep you up to date what's going on. Uh, the other thing is I would still would use OANDA as a data for CFD, see what's moving. Uh, with the videos I do there, but I would not trade on OANDA because of the uh, bad reputation that OANDA has. Um, same with any real 
retail broker, but our guy on Monday uses out of Europe uh, FXCM, which has apparently higher volume there, but I can't compare the volume of Oanda uh, here in North America, or namely in Canada, where they're from, being Toronto. But um, we'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, and uh, we shall talk to you later. Have a good day.